Hello, uh, my name is Jaap Grothoff. I'm a pediatric nephrologist from Amsterdam. I've uh, been involved with PH for about 30 years now. Well, PH is a very rare genetic disease, um, and uh, there's a small defect in the liver, and that leads to um, a detoxification problem. And patients with PH have, uh, make too uh, much oxalate. And oxalate has the ability, it's a useless product, but it has the ability to uh, form kidney stones and uh, calcifications in the kidney. It's a little bit like in your washing machine, like you have lime scale, uh, phosphate looks also a little bit like oxalate. So these patients um, end up with kidney stones and and calcification of the kidneys but in the end this might even destroy the kidneys and then the, uh, the disease becomes very terrible because then you start uh, you, have, you not only have kidney failure but you start um, store it, to store all that oxalate in all kinds of tissues like your bones and your eyes and the nerves and uh, I've had patients with 25 bone fractures uh, with impaired vision who were deaf, um, and it also affects your vessels and your heart, so it can be really li a life-threatening disease. And we know from our registry studies that over time, nearly 70% uh, of patients with pH1, uh, the, typical, the type 1 of pH, will end up with uh, kidney failure. Well, the problem is it's not only a rare disease, but even within uh, uh, this very rare disease, the, the phenotype is a very variable. So you have uh, infants who have already end-stage renal disease, and these have a very terrible cause of the, uh, course of disease. But you, you, the, there are also uh, patients who are only have had some kidney stone uh, attacks uh, at a middle age. And then suddenly, suddenly they have a deterioration of their kidney function. Um, um, so that is the problem that, uh, especially in adults, uh, um, the diagnosis is very easily missed. And uh, we've had a, a lot of patients who ended up with NSH kidney disease at adult age without any diagnosis at that time.